think in terms of bias, it's a bit more subtle and it can be more difficult to call out. But one one um, situation that stands out to me when I was an HR advisor was supporting a recruitment panel, and just some of the um, the views that the chair of that recruitment panel had towards women and whether they could do the role within the hours that were set with that within that role so it was a, a full-time role was just absolutely shocking to me actually that someone in a senior role could be questioning whether that woman would be able to do the role because of their background and the fact that they had children and were committed to young children it was a real eye-opener that people, and this isn't that long ago, you know, we'd be talking within 10 years, actually feel that or could think that. So that was a, a real shock to me that someone who was in a much more senior position to me, even though my background and my role there was as HR, was, was expressing those roles and the position of power that they had, they were the chair of that recruitment panel. So we've just uh, developed our equality, diversity and inclusion strategy for our workforce that was um, approved by the board earlier um, in the year um, and we will be doing a full launch of that. But within that, we are looking at how we support, I guess, how we support all of our staff, but in particular where we have got areas where it's underrepresented and that might be underrepresented from a gender perspective or underrepresented by staff from a particular background or minority ethnic group um, and we're really looking at that now through the lens of talent and how we support people everyone has a talent everyone has a strength talent management doesn't necessarily mean moving into senior roles but it's around really bringing out the best of those people and giving them the experience and support to be able to move forward in their career however that looks for them and however that supports the organisation but certainly in terms of gender equality we 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 uh, report on our gender pay gaps and looking at where are the differences between certain pay between men and women and how we support um, our, our female female leaders and um, we know that as you get more senior into the trust actually there's fewer women leaders and that's something we want to rectify and um, and hence why um, International Women's Day is so important for us and we're supporting our women leaders to move forward and attend external conferences to participate but not just for, for women but for men out there who also want to support women and want to be advocates and actually use their power and influence to support women so for me it's around everyone feeling confident and feeling like they will be supported regardless of how they even identify themselves as women uh, women or men. I think there's a lot of work we need to do to move forward in terms of supporting people who are transgender and what does that mean and how are they supported and how are they treated at work or in the community or if they're one of our service users. So I do think that's something as a trust we can focus more on and do, do more with.